Janet Jackson's team denies an authorized apology over controversial remarks about Kamala Harris. In a surprising turn of events, Janet Jackson's representatives have stepped forward to clarify that a purported apology regarding her comments about Vice President Kamala Harris's racial identity was unauthorized. The pop icon found herself at the center of a media storm following an interview with The Guardian, where she questioned Harris's race, leading to significant backlash from fans and critics alike. The controversy erupted when Mo El Masri, an individual who claimed to be Jackson's manager, issued a statement suggesting that Janet was apologizing for her remarks, which he described as, based on misinformation. However, Jackson's official representative swiftly refuted this claim, stating that Il Masri does not represent the singer in any capacity. Instead, Randy Jackson, her brother, is her actual manager. This clarification raises questions about Il Masri's motives and the authenticity of the statements being circulated. In the interview that sparked the outrage, Jackson was asked about her thoughts on Americans voting for the first black female presidential nominee. In her response, she stated, she's not black. That's what I heard. That she's Indian. This comment was met with immediate criticism, as many felt it was an inappropriate and unfounded assertion about Harris, who is of Jamaican and Indian descent. Jackson further compounded the issue by suggesting that Harris's father was white, which is not accurate given Harris's mixed heritage. The backlash on social media was swift and fierce, with users expressing their disappointment and disbelief at Jackson's statements. Critics were quick to point out the irony of Jackson, a prominent figure in the music industry whose own family has faced racial controversies, making such comments. One user on X, formerly Twitter, remarked, this is why she's irrelevant and leeching off of her brother's success, referring to the late Michael Jackson, suggesting that her comments indicated a disconnect from the realities of racial identity. Another user expressed their dismay, stating, I have always been a fan of Janet Jackson, but this just no. Stop, reflecting a sentiment shared by many who have followed her career. The criticism also included comparisons to former President Donald Trump, who has made false claims regarding Harris's racial identity in the past, highlighting a troubling pattern of misunderstanding and misrepresentation of race in the public discourse. The discourse surrounding Janet's remarks has prompted a broader conversation about race, identity, and the responsibilities of public figures when discussing such sensitive topics. Janet Jackson's comments have been viewed not only as misguided but also as a missed opportunity to engage in a meaningful dialogue about the complexities of race in America, particularly in the context of a historic political figure like Kamala Harris. As the backlash continues to unfold, it remains to be seen how Jackson will navigate the fallout from her comments and the unauthorized statements made on her behalf. With her long-standing career and significant influence in the entertainment industry, many are hoping for a more thoughtful engagement from Jackson regarding race and identity in the future. In the wake of this incident, it is clear that discussions around race and representation are more important than ever, not only in politics but also within the realms of celebrity culture. Jackson's remarks may serve as a reminder of the complexities surrounding these issues and the need for sensitivity and understanding, particularly among those in influential positions. As the conversation evolves, the public will be watching closely to see how Janet Jackson responds and what, if any, lessons will be learned from this controversy.